Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Mauricio Suleiman. Get this. Mauricio Suleiman rips the WBA over Taylor, says the WBC will give Tyson Fury the necessary time. The WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman, has criticized the WBA for attempting to force unified super lightweight champion Josh Taylor into a mandatory bout with Alberto Puello. Subsequently, Taylor handed back the WBA title but will now face the WBC mandatory Jose Zepeda next. Suleiman said a meeting between four sanctioning bodies, the WBC, the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO in Puerto Rico at the WBO Executive Committee in Puerto Rico early in the year was used to discuss how best to treat unified champions in order for the weight classes to have one recognized champion. It went very well, but things happen, lamented Suleiman to boxing scene. He said, very, very regrettably, the situation has taken a turn in this way. So there's no more unified champion at super lightweight and we move on and we will see what happens. Taylor deserves recognition. He has been a tremendous fighter, a warrior, and we are very proud of Josh Taylor, our, our champion. And we will have the fate fight against Jose Cepeda coming up and we will wait for the time to address the fight. It's very unfortunate because that's what everybody's everyone is talking about everyone wants to have one champion for each division the reality is there are four organizations each of the different rules different procedures and we had what i thought was a very good meeting with the four presidents sitting down discussing specifically the matter of unified champions and how difficult it is to maintain them without interfering. The problem comes up with the mandatory fights for a champion. So if you have a champion for, for with four belts, he in theory would be doing mandatory after mandatory after mandatory and then the cycle all over again. We discussed the way of doing eliminations between our mandatories and having a unified mandatory for the undisputed champion or if you have two belts or three belts, the same process in order to keep the level of opposition as high as possible and keep the unified and undisputed champions. We sat down at the table to put out as an example, the super lightweight, and it was perfectly agreed that the WBO challenger, Jack Catterall was next, that the WBC, Jose Cepeda was next, and then the IBF, so it was very clear. It was an agreement. We all understood what we shook hands on that specific situation, only to find out of the blue, out of the blue, the order comes for a fight against someone that decided to put as a mandatory for the WBA. They conducted a fight purse that had been $200,000 offer, which can you imagine Josh Taylor having to fight for 120,000 or something like that? So it is very unfortunate and unfortunate. And Josh Taylor is not undisputed. And now he is not undisputed. Suleiman used strong words to lambast the WBA's maneuver, saying, if there's no honor, no faith, no one will be, no one, or no, there's no honor, no faith, no will on the decision and proposals. It's very difficult to administrate multiple champion fighters, but he still will try to work with the other sanctioning bodies on unification bouts and with other unified champions. Okay, that's a lot. I should have stopped halfway through that, but I did. So here we go. Let me counter punch. Mauricio Suleiman is in theory simply because they did have that meeting. If they did have that meeting and they all agreed, they had a handshake. They should be a man about the word. I am very keen on people, not just men, people that keep the word. You're only good as your word. If you say you're going to do something, by God, do it. Don't renege on it. Don't say, oh, man, I know I said this. I know. Well, if you said it, you have to do it. OK. And Mauricio, in theory, is quite right. Like, listen, we all sat down. We all decided this is the formation of these mandatories, because that when you become undisputed, that's just not like any other champion. OK, let's just make that clear. You're not a regular champion when you're undisputed. OK, you're not that guy. You are surrounded by and you 
are bounded by every sanctioning body that you are the champion of and in. You have to pay the sanctioning fees. You have to fight the mandatories, okay? You have to do every protocol procedure when it comes to all of those belts. And all of those belts have precedence. So you have to do that, okay? That's your obligation. You have to oblige all of that shit. Okay, so you're going to do mandatory after mandatory after mandatory, and that alone being undisputed will keep you busy. Not in, in it, it should be that way. Why? So you'll never have a guy out there doing like Floyd, um, Money Mayweather used to do. Just pick a motherfucker, what Canelo started to do. Just pick a motherfucker and just decide to do whatever you wanted to do because you make the money that people want to see and this, that, and the other. Right? That's the beauty of Undisputed because you have no wiggle room. You have no play that you can pull or you can wiggle out of. Okay, that stops you from fighting the mandatory. And speaking of Mauricio Suleiman, let me rip him for a second. This is the same fucking guy that makes belts after belts after belts. This is the same guy that didn't give Dillian White his shot, took it from him two or three, well, two or three separate times, gave it to other people, gave it to Tyson Fury, gave it to Dominic Brazil. He didn't even respect his champion at the WBC interim level. After Dillian White paid this guy, Millions of dollars to be where he was. Facts, people. And now he wants to, oh, well, this is wrong for the WBA to bullshit. It's wrong, but you've done it too. <laughs> I'm just, I, you know, what I'm pissed off, this is what I think. I think Mauricio Suleiman is pissed off because the WBA didn't let him in on the bullshit. <laughs> You should have told me you were going to fuck over, Josh. We would have been in agreement. <laughs> That's what I really believe, honestly, because I think Mauricio, man, is a guy that, you know, lately hasn't showed any faith and honor in any of that thing. And let me ask you guys a very serious question, all right? And I want you to think about this. Mauricio said he's going to give Tyson Fury all the time he needs, right? Which, that's bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I mean... And we'll we'll get back to that in a minute. But what if Dillian White would have upset Tyson Fury? You think he would have you, you think if Dillian White said he was gonna retire, you think he would have gave Dillian White the same amount of time he's given Tyson the Gypsy King Fury? Let's think about that. Like, do you think he would give Dillian White that type of time, that type of accolade, that type of respect? My guess would be hell to the no. A quarter pass hell to the no. Right. Because I don't think I think Mar Mauricio is a respecter of person. And I think that's due to popularity and popularity comes fame and fame comes what money. Counterpunch. I don't think that would have been the case at all. Now, back to the WBO. They did whatever they did. They did what they wanted to do. They might have had a meeting, but here's the cross on that. Here's a cross examination on that. The cross counterpunch. Right. Maybe the WBA wanted to do something that they wanted to do based based on why they did it, based on the people that they had in their in, in their rankings. And if I'm the WBA, I don't care how many meetings I've had with other sanctioning bodies, I'm still the president of my own fucking place and my own organization. You know what I mean? And no, in all due respect, I don't have to ask any of you guys for nothing. For no reason. Why? I don't have to ask you guys for nothing. I don't have to get your approval. That handshake doesn't mean anything if it wasn't in writing. Now, handshake is a, I am a person about my word. You guys know you heard me say that. But if it's shit's not in writing, that's why text messages are so important in the long, as long as emails. Anything in writing that bounds you to whatever you said and people can see it and it's tangible, that's why it's evidence. But he didn't do that. And what they're going to do, Sue? No, they can just talk shit. But, hey, who is he, Mauricio, to talk shit about the WBA president? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Mauricio ripping the WBA president for stripping Josh Taylor. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.